on the outskirts of the Arctic Circle, at the very borders of modern civilization, there lies a racetrack. The circuit that never sleeps, as some say. A place where a small mysterious group of racing drivers meet under the midnight sun for a test of man and machine. This is Moirana, the Arctic Circle Raceway. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Circuits of the World and what an awesome one we've got for you today. This is the Arctic Circle Raceway located in Nordland, Mo Irana. I probably absolutely butchered the pronunciation of that but it's just on the edge of the Arctic Circle, the northernmost racetrack in the world. An FIA Grade 3 circuit about two and a third miles in length with 12 turns. Race lap record honours going to Pontus Morth in a Formula 3 car from 1996. This is such an awesome circuit. It hosts a race called the Midnight Cup which surprise surprise takes place at midnight but because of this place's location there is actually still daylight from the midnight sun with it being just on the edge of the Arctic Circle. So in theory this racetrack could support a 24 hour race completely in daylight it, it's crazy this is such a such an awesome circuit and the midnight cup you have about six different classes of cars you have a gt extreme class with like thousand horsepower lamborghinis and stuff it's it's really crazy i uh, definitely recommend you check out the the midnight cup uh, but the circuit itself has actually held rounds of the the swedish and scandinavian touring car championship as well as the as well as the norwegian touring car championship that kind of existed before but uh, anyway let's go for a lap of this circuit i'm going to be driving the vrc super tourer seems as that's what the raced in those touring car days and yeah let's uh, jump into the lap so then a lap of the Arctic Circle Raceway, an absolute roller coaster as we come into T1 of 12, can hit the brakes uh, down into 5th there and uh, getting a nice line through there as it dips down and then back up again, you bring the car to the right as you've got this kind of long left hander, using a little bit of power in the front wheel drive car to keep the uh, to keep the rear in check as you have this real tight uphill left hander and then it comes back down the hill again and swings to the right a little bit of camber in the road there helps turn the car around as then it swings back to the left and back up the hill again <laughs> an absolute roller coaster then you've got this kind of blind chicane just at the top of the crest there it can be quite slippy up there if you're not careful but you bring the car to the right for one of the most difficult corners on the track this really long downhill left hander look at the elevation change as uh, we just managed to keep it nice and tidy through there and uh, you come back down the hill once again you've got this kind of blind right hander that curb does kind of throw the car off a little bit as you come into another right hander get it tucked in nice and tight be a bit patient on the power as it goes back up the hill once again and then into this last final really tight left hand hairpin take uh, a nice wide line bring it back in for that late apex and the best run out the corner and that's a lap of the arctic circle raceway absolutely amazing track this amazing track to drive a proper driver's track so let's see what it's like to race here all right so here we are lined up on the grid a grid full of nordic drivers ready to take on this race here at the Arctic Circle Raceway and it's a pretty good start for us the AI on this version of the track are a, a little bit crazy they like to go full send into some of these corners as we 
pull alongside the Swedish driver, a bit of contact made and a bit of a touring car moment there here in these uh, super tourers but we carry on and we can go chasing down the pack. You'll see uh, the track conditions, it's kind of uh, a little bit dark but there's still daylight from the onboards of what I've seen of the Midnight Cup. This is kind of uh, the conditions that the the racing at the Midnight Cup. So this is what Midnight looks like at, at this time of the year in uh, in Norway. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of have that as, as part of the, the theme of this race. But anyway, we go into this chicane. The AI really slow through there. I think uh, on this version of the track, obviously it's not such a well-known track, so there's only a couple of versions out there, but uh, the AI aren't too, aren't too clever around here, but that's okay, we can still have a, a decent enough race as we go chasing after this uh, this Red Bull Honda car. This is a skin pack that uh, I made myself, it's up on race department if uh, you want, want to go check that out, but uh, we can go then chasing after this next car we've got another Ford in us, in us mirrors there but we're up into P4 uh, the race actually uh, being currently the leader is uh, not a Norwegian driver but a Danish driver so that's quite interesting but plenty of uh, Norwegians around us as we come on to this second lap then see if we can close this gap up like I say this first corner the AI go full send into there and uh, we just get the rear sliding out a little bit as uh, it can be a little bit loose on the rear end in these uh, front wheel drive super tourers as uh, you see there a little bit of opposite lock as well just to save the rear we're at the AI quite slow around this left hander see if we can catch up if we go down the hill hook the car into that little bit of camber there is in the road that gives us a right launch out of the corner nearly on the bumping into the rear of that Honda as we go up the hill then into the blind chicane early on the brakes so we can get the line through there but we just get swiped across nearly taken out we have to back out of the move but uh, we gather it back up and go again for this really tough downhill left hander I still haven't quite worked out the line through here I think it's kind of like a double apex corner I think but uh, yeah in the meantime then uh, it looks like we are pulling away from the guys behind us so that's good the leaders are starting to pull away a little bit as well so we're going to want to start catching them but uh, as we just ride the curb a little bit there still not managed to get past this red bull as we come onto into the last corner we're going to go in quite deep go in wide bring it back around for a late apex and that's going to give us the launch out the corner that we need as we go side by side then with Olsen and uh, we're going to charge down into T1 again I'm earlier on the brakes in here than the AI because they proper send it in go out a little bit wide but then you'll see the run we get out the corner there as we go side by side once again with Olsen again earlier on the brakes to try and get the power down earlier still side by side this is turning into a right scrap with Olsen as uh, it just manages to pull ahead but we squeeze him tight to the apex as we come down the hill into the right hander but he's going to have the legs on us on the exit and once again we just have to tuck back in so this is a, a really good race here a couple of lines uh, a couple of different lines you can take through some of these corners once again the AI slow through that chicane so we're going to take advantage of that we finally managed to pull ahead but are we coming to the braking zone he's going to send it back down the inside and uh, he's going to get back up ahead of us but we have the line through the corner the better line on the exit but he just parks it on the apex there so some good defensive driving from this uh, from this AI and uh, yeah he just hops over the curb there that's going to upset his car and once again we go up the inside of this long right hander and I think finally we're going to get the move done on Olsen. What a scrap that was, side by side for about half the lap there. So uh, the racing round here, uh, like I say, with all the different lines you can take through the corners, the racing is actually pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good racing. Uh, but we have a, a couple more cars up ahead of us to catch up to. In the meantime, we, uh, we actually have the fastest lap, which I've only just realised. But uh, we get a nice line through T1 see if we can go chasing after uh, these uh, next two cars we are up on the podium yeah, but obviously we're going to go for the race win only a couple of laps left to do it though so we'll see 
if we can catch these guys as we come back down the hill. This is such a fun track to drive. All the elevation changes. You throw the car to one uh, one way, throw the car the other way, and uh, yeah, as we set a purple purple sector time there, so this could be an even faster lap as we come through the chicane again the AI losing so much speed through there as we're going to send it up the inside of the M Sport Ford car and uh, we're tight to the apex there the car twitching all over the place but we're going to hook that inside line as we go side by side it looks like uh, the M Sport Ford's got the better exit once again early on the brakes go for the switch back as it nearly rolls the car over there getting it up on two wheels and that's uh, a purple sector uh, sector 2 time as we go chasing after Jensen then in uh, the the green uh, Opel Astra obviously it'll be an Opel with this being, uh, uh, being a European race as we come out the last corner then and on to lap 5 of 7 so we're going to have uh, just two more laps to try and uh, try and close this gap down uh, new fastest lap for us a 130.8 so we are pretty rapid at the minute as we get the run out of T1 we're gonna go side by side and uh, yeah once again early on the brakes get the switch back a bit of a nudge there getting into the touring car spirit of things as we go wide round here oh a couple of wheels on the grass uh, opposite lock smash the throttle that's how you save these front wheel drive cars but we've lost a massive amount of time now and uh, yeah that's what happens if uh, you don't concentrate or just get a little bit too uh, a little bit too optimistic with the track limits it can it can bite you this circuit if you be not careful but I think Jensen made a mistake there and we go flying past him into the downhill left hander he goes flying round the outside we're side by side then I'm just gonna hug this inside line here and I block off that uh, that second uh, apex on the exit of the corner and that's us up ahead into P1 then and the question is can we keep it there as it looks like Jensen actually gets a pretty decent launch out of it as we come into this long right hander we get a pretty good exit out there you can see in the rear view mirror a little bit of the, the kind of the haze on the horizon there and yeah this is such a vibe but once again we get it crossed up on the grass on the exit and uh, we actually lose out two positions maybe three as we've got that Red Bull car of Olsen back in his mirrors again and <laughs> Uh, so yeah all this hard work just gone to pot there because of a, a stupid mistake and now we're right back down to P4 but Olsen goes off wide we nibble the grass a little bit uh, but we managed to get back past him back up onto the podium then as uh, that Ford goes really wide and uh, just leaves the door wide open for us so maybe the AI struggling with the tyres going off a little bit there uh, but we've got uh, we're on lap 6 so we've got the rest of this lap and then one more see if we can get back up into p1 in this race and what a race it has been it's so much fun i'd love to uh, i'd love to race this track with actual other drivers rather than the ai as you can see there once again the ai losing so much time at that chicane i'd love for like uh, uh like a, a proper track modder one of the uh, one of the more established kind of track modders to get a hold of this track and work some magic with it because I think it it really does deserve it it's such an amazing track with such a, an interesting story and it, it's very unique with the uh, with the, the kind of conditions and the, the weather and time conditions that you get here so uh, I don't know of many other races that are quite like this where you race at midnight and it's still it's still daylight I think it's just such a such a cool vibe uh, but anyway, well, we come on out the last corner onto the last lap, right up the rear bumper of Jensen, then in that, that Carlsberg Opel Vectra as we come into the first corner. Then, well, same thing as normal earlier on the brakes, but earlier on the power, we get a bit of a switchback move there. That's going to be us up into P1. I can't see where Jensen is, though. There he is. We go side by side up the hill into the tight left hander there is room for two cars up here so the track has uh, some nice width but we pinch him into the apex a little bit and that's going to make us go tight for this next corner as we nibble the curb a little bit i think he's still got his nose in no he haven't we just managed to pull ahead as we come into this chicane the ai is probably going to try and send it on me up here but uh, no they go out a little bit wide 
And there we go. If we can just hold it together for the rest of the lap, that should be us up and winning this race as uh, we lose the rear going uh, down the hill there. Very easy to do. But uh, we keep it all in one piece. And we now have a one and a half second gap there. There's uh, three more corners to go then. As we try not to clip too much curb there because it sends the car crazy if, uh, if you're not careful there. A purple sector time as well, just for good measure. As uh, we go around the second to last corner then charge down into the final hairpin. And I think it is going to be a, a nice race win for us here but guys if you enjoyed this video remember to hit like hit subscribe let me know what you think of this track down in the comments section below thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one